Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Mega Man Zero. We've got a pretty short stage to cover this time, but still a very long video, because I've decided to not cut out any of the plot this time, because it is really kind of important. I do like that they made the main gate in the game so recognizable that it is immediately obvious what is happening here. They're storming in from the desert. Probably because they have a hidden base there that we still have not destroyed. Ah, uh, well. There is only one elderly and one children here, but it is a sentiment that counts here, I guess. Zero knows where the priorities are, but... CL is kinda suicidal. It is a Nazi analogy. Really? I don't think so, actually. This might have been just awkwardly phrased. I do believe that, however. Hmm. Pay attention. Because this is going to get closure at the end of this video. For now, though, we can get on with saving the day again. Wait a second, which evacuation transport? There is only one way out of this base and it is through the elevator or to the left of it towards the main gate. Poor girl. Poor guy. So, where the hell are they headed exactly? Do they all want to trans out? Maybe? But there is already an enemy presence here. All oh, the doors are closed, by the way. And there is an enemy presence everywhere in the base. These enemies here don't matter at all. They're just there. Oops, you can tell I want to do something different here. <laughs> They're just there for flavor. Because, as you already know, all of these routes here are dead ends. And there is nothing we have to do there. I have to do this. Um, because, as I said, all the doors are closed and we have a clear goal in the engine room. So this just goes to show that, yep, the resistance is pretty damn fucked at the moment. Also evident in how destroyed and damaged the walls are. I think they did a really good job here. This is the engine room, and Servo is probably getting harassed in there. But I still want to take a look at the enemies here. Even though this is completely optional, they took their time to think out the enemy placement and have a little variety in them, so I do think it is neat. They could have just spammed the big strong arm guys, which are pretty much the strongest enemy in the game, and unless I'm seriously uh, misremembering something. Oh yeah. I want to give the uh, triple rod a little exposure here, as you probably already have uh, could tell. Because I'm waiting for a little something, and uh, I tend to not use it too much. The thing is, it's just not that good. That much is evident. But it is kind of fun to use at points, and I try to give it as much time in the spotlight as it deserves. The only time the shield boomerang deserved in the spotlight was in the last hard mode video. I'm sorry, but it is just really, really fucking bad. Same about the triple rod. Pogoing is probably the biggest saving grace for it. A small one, but it is. <coughs> yeah, this is not going to work out. It is just really, really fun to pull off. Mostly because it is so tricky. On the other hand, because it is so tricky, it is also not something a casual player would try and tempt. But whatever. Oh, it is closed. Mm -hmm. Show don't tell, please. You're so good about this, usually. See, so yeah, now that we've took out the engine room, guys, the elevator works. But we just have to take out the boss. And this is what I was waiting for, because... And Charge Triple Rod can be kind of awesome, the way it just, um, put that guy away into oblivion. Hmm. But it sometimes, and that is most of the time, simply doesn't work. 
I don't know why these two guys didn't get flung away like the first one did. It probably has to do something with the element it shows. Ice uh, seems to work far better. But yeah, it is kind of clunky and... Because you have to stand still so long while you're using it, it is just really worthless most of the time. I just did it to show it off a little and I originally wanted to show it off on the boss too. But this guy here is kind of a twitchy motherfucker and trying to get up the triple rod, even if you manage to hit him fully, is just suicide. Because it doesn't stun him, unless you use his element, weakness, upon which it will trigger invincibility, so you hit him once, he can recover while you're standing there, sitting duck, it's just not good at all. Maybe good for some of the bigger enemies, but eh. Anyway, Hanu Machine. Hanu Machine is a really, really fun fight. Mostly because he's really fast and he likes to keep you on your toes. Mostly by spawning a lot of those monkeys. And you have to destroy a set number of them to make the elf spawn. And um, otherwise running around all the time. He does have little grace periods in which he stays put to let, him, uh, to let you hit him. But otherwise he's mostly on the move all the time. Whoops, missed up the wall jump. And you really have to take out the monkeys quickly because they tend to cling to you and explode within a few seconds unless you shake them off by going left, right, left on the D-pad. And his final move where he bounces around the room. It's not that hard to avoid because he always bounces in the same pattern and then you can slash him when he gets out of it. Not that tough of a fight, but he will murder you the first few times around just because he's so fast. That's the way it should be after you figure out his pattern and it is no problem toying around with him. And it is a great deal of fun, as I said. This entire mission is really short, as you can see I got docked 7 points because I was over the 2 minute par time. All you really have to do is go down, save uh, Servo, activate the uh, elevator and kill the boss. Absolutely no problem. So, no evacuation this time. Hmm. This is where uh, Zero's amnesia really comes in conveniently, because uh, he obviously forgot that X is kind of his best friend. As was stated multiple times in the X games. So taking out X is like no, of no concern to him at all because it would make CL happy and he does want to make CL happy because she was nice to him. Ciro's mind is pretty easily understandable I guess. And I do love that they are kind of implying that it is no problem that, CL, uh, that Ciro could just walk into Neo Arcadia front door kill everything it just would take too much time. They have absolute confidence in his ability to do it if he wanted to. But hey do we have here an old friend? And this is very, very convenient, because now it is time for the final dungeon, quote unquote, the Wily Castle. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I guess we got the cool from him too. And come on, CL, it should be really, really obvious who he is, from his symbol alone. Again, what I love about Zero. Mysteries, identities, he doesn't even care. There is a target to kill, he will take it out, with extreme prejudice, and nothing else is on his mind. This makes for a good protagonist in my opinion. No complaints, no whining, just going out there, killing stuff, it's an action game after all. Why do we care? We don't. It's off to Neo Arcadia next time, thank you very much for your attention.